Hey guys, it's Coaster Nerd Weekly, and in today's video, I'm going to determine what the best new for 2022 coaster will be. The way this will work is I will take four of the best looking coasters that will be opening in 2022, comparing them to each other, and then deciding which one will be the best. Please take note that this is all in my opinion, so if you think one of the four is better, or if you think that one of the four should be replaced with a different one, please comment them down in the comment section. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, as it helps out a lot with the channel and would be much appreciated. Now let's get into the video. The first step of determining the best new for 2022 coaster is to select the top 4 best looking coasters, in my opinion, opening in 2022. The 4 I chose are Airy Force 1, which is coming to Fun Spot Atlanta, Iron Gwazi, which is coming to Busch Gardens Tampa, Phoenix, which is coming to Fair Up Summerland, apologies if I pronounced that wrong, and Pantheon, which is coming to Busch Gardens Williamsburg. I decided to put Phoenix on the list because barely anybody is talking about it, and I think it looks really good. So let's do some speculation on these rides. First, let's talk about Airy Force One. This is the most recently announced out of the four, and will probably open around summer 2022. The stats are a height of 155 feet, 64 miles per hour, and four inversions. The airtime on inversions look pretty good, especially that quad down near the end. Like, that just looks insane. And I think the Raven Trust Dive is going to be a pretty good inversion. Overall, it looks like a great ride. Second, let's talk about Iron Gwazi. This coaster was announced around two years ago. It has been delayed for a while, but will open up in March 2022. The stats are a 91 degree, 206 foot drop, 76 miles per hour, two inversions, and 12 airtime moments. I'm sure you've heard a lot of other people talk about this ride because it was announced quite a while ago. So you've probably heard about how intense and whippy it looks. There's some really good airtime moments on this, and there's also that awesome looking downwards barrel roll. The only problem is it looks a bit short compared to some of the other RMCs, but it still looks like it's going to be a great ride nonetheless. Third, let's talk about Phoenix. This coaster was announced back in June, and I haven't really heard anybody talk about it really, but this coaster looks like it's going to be actually really good. The stats are a height of 131 feet, 59 miles per hour, 3 inversions, and a whopping 14 airtime moments. This looks like it could be the most underrated coaster of 2022. Vekoma has been doing some really great stuff recently, so I think this will be a really good ride. The fourth and final one I'm going to talk about is Pantheon, which just like Iron Gwazi was announced around 2 years ago and will open in March 2022. The stats are a height of 178 feet, 73 miles per hour, a max drop angle of 95 degrees, two inversions, and a total of three launches, two forward and one backwards. I just have to say, this looks like an incredible ride in my opinion. It just has so many crazy elements, and looks to have some insane ejector airtime. So now for the part you've all been waiting for. Which new for 2022 coaster will be the best? To be honest, it didn't take me too much thinking, but I determined that the best new coaster in 2022 will be Pantheon at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. I just can't get over how fast it goes through some of these elements, and some of these elements just look like they're going to be crazy. Like seriously, look how fast it goes over this top hat, and look at the hang time on the zero G stall. Overall, I just think this is going to be an absolutely insane ride, and in my opinion, probably the best new coaster for 2022. So that is my opinion on the best new for 2022 coaster. Once again, please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, as it really helps out on the channel. And I'll see you guys next time on Coaster Nerd Weekly.